This demonstration is going to show the common features that are part of Turbo Meeting. So we're going to host an interactive meeting. And um, first of all, we're going to invite an attendee to the meeting. And we'll do that via email. And we're inviting Jane Doe to join the meeting. So now Jane has joined the meeting, and uh, I'm going to show you how to pause the meeting so that we can sh do something on our desktop and Jane will not see it. Uh, now we're going to restart the meeting. And now we can show you the chat feature. And you can chat with all people, or you can chat with individual attendees to your meeting. And Jane can do the same if she's joined via Turbo Meeting. Now we're going to show the ability to send files. And you can send files to everybody in the meeting or to just individual people. So now we're sending the webinar presentation to Jane Doe. And she has accepted it, and it will show up wherever she decides to put it. Um, but on her desktop by default. Now we're going to show you the recording feature. The recording feature allows you to record any actions on the desktop and it will record any audio that your computer's microphone picks up. So if you're, if you're in a conference call, place your uh, phone next to your computer's microphone. And so now we're saving the recording and we can play that back and show you how to play the recording that you just uh, recorded. And you can see that it's exactly what we just did. And now we're going to show how to change the presenter. So Jane will become the presenter. She's accepted that she's the presenter, and now we see Jane's desktop. And um, there was that chat session we just had. And there's a webinar presentation that we sent to Jane, and she received it. And we're going to change the change the zoom level so we can see her turbo meeting. She's going to make the me the presenter now, and I say that I want to show my desktop. You can show your desktop. You can show one of your individual monitors, or you can show individual applications by going to show my and desktop and then choosing from the pull down list. Um, so there we were changing the controller to Jane so Jane could have controlled my computer during that time. Here's the webcam and there's the there's John John Doe. That's me. And uh, now we're going to draw on the whiteboard. Uh, so you can kind of freehand draw and uh, John is deciding to scribble on the whiteboard. And now we're going to show you the, the ability to annotate. So you have various annotation uh, methods. One is uh, a pen. And so you can draw with a pen. You can also highlight. And you just highlight like that. You can also have a spot, a red spot on the screen when you're making points. And you can also have an uh, arrow. And so after we're done annotating, uh, you can save your annotations. So in case you want to view what you've drawn on the screen at a later time. And you can stop the an annotation. So now we're going to look at the annotation that we just saved. And yes, that's the our screen with all the annotation on it. And so when you minimize Turbo Meeting, there's a mini toolbar that stays and has many of the features that are available in Turbo Meeting, but it doesn't take up much of your screen, so it makes it a little easier to present. Um, then we open chat, and we minimize the mini toolbar. And so Turbo Meeting is back up, and now we're going to show you some of the tools options. You can change the 
color quality for the attendees, and this uh, will change the uh, speed at which their screens update. High quality is actually a very good trade-off of, of very good screen quality and good speed. Here we're showing you how to edit a conference call number. Um, so if you're not using the standard R Hub conference call number, you can change it there. Now we're going to invite someone via uh, an email. And so this is uh, to attend via the browser. And now you can choose whether or not you want attendees to see other attendees in their attendee list. Um, you can turn off recording for attendees. Um, you can also change the pin size uh, when you're annotating. And you can start up a report of uh, all the meetings that have uh, happened on your ARB appliance. By default, you see a week's worth of um, meetings. You can also stop additional attendees from joining the meeting. And you can change the language of the Turbo Meeting UI. Um, and you can choose to remove Turbo Meeting from the attendees computers after the meeting has ended. Here we're going to show you how to print to an attendees computer. You use print to the printer named Turbo Meeting Printer and the uh, printing will show up at the attendees computer and they will decide which printer they want to use. Finally, you can right mouse on, on an attendee's name and then remove that attendee from the meeting.